Hello and welcome to today's edition of Cracking the Cryptic. Um, today it looks like I've just loaded up the puzzle uh, and it looks like there. this is the first puzzle that appeared in the weekend's Times Crossword Championship. So I thought we'd, we'd do a slightly longer edition. I've not solved this because I, I did the other semi-final um, and we'll, um, we'll, we'll try and go through it slowly. Um, I anticipate it it being relatively difficult. Most of the semi-final and the final puzzles were I think harder than the average times crossword so don't be alarmed if as I'm going through this um, uh, you're thinking oh my goodness this is uh, this isn't what I was expecting. Um, you know congrats to Mark um, I'm sure many of you who watch the channel know, know what happened at the weekend when he won his 11th times crossword championship um, his 10th in a row uh, I was struck by a sense of deja vu actually um, I don't know how many of the victories I've, I've been there to see but it's always the same it seems he um, you know the clock starts he hands in about 18 19 20 minutes and then there's this sort of dramatic pause while you wait um, for someone else to finish the puzzles and you know, this time I think it was about 10 minutes later that the next best handed in um, and I think perhaps the, you know, the best way of explaining how incredible what he's doing is, um, is to just quote another another competitor, a guy called Neil Talbot, who is who I think has finished second on more than one occasion in the Times Crossword Championship. Um, we were in the same semi-final this time, and Mark finished the puzzles in something like 17 minutes for the three puzzles, and they were not easy puzzles, and. Neil just shook his head in disbelief. He could not believe anybody could be that fast, and he is often the second best. Um, in, so, yeah, uh, kudos to Mark. He is a, a, a freak of nature. Um, but we're not freaks of nature, and we're going to we're going to try and solve this. So let's have a look. Um, okay, one one across. Clean bottom lip following medic. Well, medics normally you know, DR or MO. Um, let's try DR clean. Okay, yeah, so this is going to be dredge. So a bottom lip is an edge, um, and I'm oh, sorry, a, a lip is an edge, and a clean bottom is, uh, is to dredge. Okay, so let's try and use the letters. Traveller on beach in shade, European plagued by insects. seeing what that is. Is one's time up in labour now then? Ah, okay. Okay, so this is this is trying to make it seem like it's talking about politics, but it's actually a pun on being in prison. Um, and so if you have a think about what that, if you're if you're out of prison, you are an ex-con, and that's what it's getting at with the reference to to your time being up in labour. You're an ex-conservative, but the whole clue is hinting at the fact that you're actually uh, no longer in prison. So, okay, let's use the G. After a couple of G drinks, well, okay, okay. I've actually seen a clue like this before. Um, this is the name of a game, as we, as you know from all the videos. You should always, or almost always, look at the start or the end of the clue for a definition. And here, the definition is just games. So we're looking for a game three five, beginning with a G. And we've got after a couple of drinks. So it looks like we need the name of some drinks, possibly different drinks, followed by a word that might mean well. I almost said it then, <laughs> um, and the whole thing means a game. So have a think. Pause the video. Um, I really recommend that you, you know, it's worth, it's worth just allowing your brain to uh, tick over and think about the clues because I find that you know things are more likely to stick that way. I'm going to type in the answer now. Okay, so this is a good start. And now look at this. We've got a U at the end of. 
12 crops so hopefully we can put this in so language family don't allow excessively spoken <laughs> okay I was I was all I was thinking it was going to be Hindu but it's it's not um, so hopefully again you could guess here that the, the definition looks like language or language family and then We've got, don't allow excessively outspoken. Well, whenever we see words like outspoken or allowed or we hear in, in crossword clues, it's almost always getting at a homophone. So we need a word that sounds like excessively. And that that's screaming to me of two at the end of this. You know, if something is two, T-double-O, it is excessively. And if we say that, we could pronounce it or we could come up with this spelling tu so now we're looking for a language or a language family that fits this this pattern and i think many of us will be familiar with bantu and so don't allow is ban then we've got the, the two that i've explained so let's actually now let's have a look at this this is a very odd thing it must be can in the middle without actually reading the clue so lack of honesty, old city avoided, that's not possible. Okay, well I, I can see what I think that is, but I don't know why. So I'm going to type it in and let's try and work out what's going on. So lack of honesty, old city avoided. No candor. Okay, so whenever, again, whenever there's references to old cities, in times crosswords, very often you're looking at either U R er or ek e c, both of which I think are you know, biblical cities. Um, and you know you could be looking at things like Troy or Sparta, but because it's so useful to take off a two-letter city, <laughs> especially with U R or e c, those are more common. So here we've got no candor, with the old city being avoided, i.e. dropped out of the answer, to give no can do. And now, let's let's look at one down, which we hopefully can solve. Traveller on beach in shade. Okay, now I now I know what this is. Um, European plagued by insects. Okay, I really like the plagued by insects reference here. So we're looking for the name of something that travels along a beach. And then we need a short word that means shade. European, as we've seen before, is very often abbreviated to E. Sometimes it can be pole, P-O-L-E, um, but probably 80% of the time it's, it's just uh, you being used for the abbreviation E. And then plagued by insects, well, you know, we need a word that, that could mean that. Um, so have a think. I'm going to put in the answer now. Buggy being played by insects, which is very nice. Now, this word, a G and an M. So, okay. Staggered, so getting teeth knocked out, possibly. Uh, why can't I see what that is? Oh, yes, I can see what it is. Okay. So, so this is a word that means staggered, um, and it's also hinting at the fact that when you look at the answer here, it implies that you you might have had your teeth knocked out. So staggered is being used in the sense of some wow, it's incredible. I am absolutely pause gobsmacked. If you are smacked in the gob, you may well lose some teeth. So that's what that's getting at. Right, four letters beginning with Y. Old soldier on back in agony. Stretcher found. Okay, right. Um, so again, one of the things I would say about a Times Crossword Clue, Mark alluded to it yesterday, is that it's very important almost to ignore reading the clue as a, as a sentence. 
Although there have been a couple of examples in this puzzle where it's been, you know, a bit punny and the whole thing has been a little bit relevant, it's almost always the case that the series of letters you're presented with, a series of words you're presented with, are, are an equation. You need to work out what the equation is that you're being asked to solve. And reading the surface isn't going to help with that. So here, you know, if you're if you're reading the clue and trying to think about it literally, you're thinking about some old soldier in pain, and you know, and and, and then there's a stretcher, and you, you know, you're thinking about Gunga Din or something like that. I don't know, but you're that isn't going to help. So, firstly, we need to try and work out what the definition is, and here, the stretcher found thing suggests to me that the rest of the clue is wordplay and once I put that wordplay together it's going to, I'm going to find that I have a word that means a stretcher and the fact that I've got a question mark at the end of the clue suggests that it's not perhaps a stretcher in the in the most normal reading of the term so I, it's, it's not going to be something that the old soldier lies on it's going to be a different type of stretcher so I, would, I might be thinking of an elastic band or something like that and then let's have a look at the rest of it and see if we can discern how this wordplay might work. So we've got old soldier. Well, the thing about soldier is it can be so many things, but on back in agony. Well, the back in agony, the, the back letter in agony is clearly a Y. So that looks like it's this Y to me. So old soldier, well, old can very often be O. And then soldier, well, you know, we've seen before it, it you know, soldiers, soldier, they have a lot of abbreviations, but the, there is there is one here that I can think of that would give me a word that was then a type of stretcher um, in a quite a punny sense. So have a think. The answer is a yogi, i.e. somebody who helps you do yoga. Um, and yeah, nice clue. And GI obviously being the soldier. So let's go on. Beauty smuggled a gun short piece. Oh, okay. Well, we're lucky here because we have such helpful letters at the start. This clue does actually become doable quite quickly. So, beauty smuggling a gun. I think that looks like wordplay um, because smuggling suggests you know that you're you're hiding it. You're 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 covering it up. So it looks to me like this is a word for beauty around A, possibly. So we could try even try the A there. And then a short word for a gun. Now, there is, again, we've talked about it before, very common synonym. Uh, short synonym for gun it is a gat. And that does come up quite often. Uh, Uzi as well comes up, but Uzi you don't tend to see UZI in too many words, so it's 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 much less common. Um, so, given this start, hopefully you might be able to come up with a short piece, and this is a short piece in the sense of a you know, the musical piece. And I'm going to put the answer in now. So bagatelle. And having said that, this crossword was 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 likely to be difficult. Actually, I don't think it's been too bad so far. Um, it's probably going to be horrendous corner or something like that. Um, so let's maybe have a look at, at a couple of other clues. I don't want to make the video too long. Uh, and what I may do is um, I may continue to solve it um, and just put that on uh, on the video so that you can see how how my solve progressed but let's try and do a couple more and then, then we'll go to that so lowest degree like that oh okay right this is tricky this is trickier because it is very possible here for the definition to be either lowest or like that um, 
it's a little hard to see when you first look at it. The only word that I think I, I can get a grip on in this clue is degree. And degree, obviously, we're looking um, at university degrees. And, you know, a BA or an MA or an MBA would be um, very common abbreviations that would be used when we see the word degree. So, I start actually when I started the clue, I started putting those at the end, and I was thinking maybe it's a dance, you know, samba, rumba, something like that, but it isn't. Actually, we need to put the degree at the beginning, and then so we need a word that means lowest, and then we need a, one of these degree abbreviations, and then a short word that means like that. And this is this is tricky because it's uh, it's a Latin word. Um, so have a think about it. See if you can come up with a possible answer. And the answer is basic. So slightly more difficult. Now, okay, let's try and get uh, twenty-two. Yeah, let's try and get twenty-two. And then I'll carry on. So, monarch in clothes, striking. Clothes, striking. Monarch. A monarch is a type of butterfly, but just so everybody knows who maybe isn't familiar with the conventions that surround crossword clues. Um, you cannot define um, butterfly with the word monarch. It would have to give, say, something like monarch, for example. Um, you, you know, obviously, if it was the other way around and the clue said butterfly in clothes striking, that then the answer could be monarch if if the wordplay led to, to that answer. But this way around, not possible. Um, I'll tell you what I'm thinking about here. In clothes striking, if you're in, in a cricketing sense, you're batting. Um, oh, so it is, yes, it is that. Um, okay. I'm going to put the answer in and then explain it. Lovely clue. Uh, monarch in clothes striking. Right, so uh, monarch, um, it can be king obviously, but the most common abbreviation is ER, i.e. for our present queen, um, Elizabeth Regina. Um, and, you know, sometimes you can see GR, you know, as in you know, King George, etc. You know, but ER, again, it's very, very useful. For the setter to, to have those uh, those letters um, available to put into wordplay, just by using you know queen or monarch. Um, so think er whenever you see monarch, and then in clothes. Well, if you're in, you're batting in a cricketing sense, and that is clothing the monarch, i.e., it's surrounding the monarch, the er, and battering means striking. So that's a beautiful clue. Um, I really like that and yeah a good solve okay so I'm gonna pause there I'm gonna uh, you'll see the rest of the solve on the video uh, any questions about any of the any of the clue answers just um, uh, just leave a comment and we'll get we'll get back to you and uh, we'll see you again tomorrow I'm cracking the cryptic